Now, I love to roast Microsoft, but they just did something that they hadn't done in a while. And that is they made a fantastic feature called WSLG. Now, Windows Subsystem for Linux is not new. I've covered version 1 and version 2, but this one is pretty legit. I got to say, I am enjoying it. And, well, let's, let's just show you on the desktop because it is amazing. Now, to get started with WSLG, you can just go to their GitHub page, Microsoft forward slash WSLG. It does require an evaluation build. Now, they don't really lay out exactly what build other than it's 21,000 plus, and you can always check your build number by going start run and win ver. And you can see right now I'm on 21,390. This build number is pretty bleeding edge and you can see evaluation copy expires 10 19 2021 so it'll constantly need to be re-upped as i go around to this because it is the dev build now you can switch to a beta build but right now that's only 19,000. so it's very important to know you do need the development build to do this today however if you wait till the fall this should be pretty much good for everyone. So now that you got your dev build or you're on 21,000 plus, you can continue and you can see you need that right here as a prerequisite. Other prerequisites for GPU enabled acceleration, which you're going to want if you're doing like video editing using Caden Live or other things, uh, you're going to definitely want this. These drivers, AMD and Intel is pretty easy to do. Nvidia, I had to sign up for the Nvidia developer program. It's all free everyone's accepted it's just another hoop to jump through so when you go to here you'll actually have a sign in to where you go okay i want to get the cuda driver and then you want to grab this one hit download now and then it's like hey membership required so that's uh, another hoop you got to jump through just go ahead join now and say you want to download this development build. But once you got that going, setting up Windows Subsystem for Linux, I'm not gonna go too in depth because I've already done it on my website, christitis.com forward slash WSL2. And the big thing here is obviously you're gonna be on the proper build. And if you're not, 2004 is how you, or, or above is the one you need for any WSL2 work. You first do the WSL, this, this is actually version one. Then you update to virtual machine platform right here. These are two feature updates you can do through Powerline, or you can just hit start run appwiz.cpl and then go turn Windows features on, scroll down to Windows subsystem for Linux, check that, and then also make sure you get virtual machine platform and then just hit okay. So there's two, two methods to enable those two features. And then lastly, you do need a kernel update. I went ahead and linked directly to this MSI file. You need to install this. This is direct from Microsoft, but you can just do WSL kernel and you should be able to get there. This just adds that WSL2 feature that we talked about. Once that's done, launch into your PowerShell, which you do want PowerShell with ad admin for this one. And what I like to do is just setting version two as default right there on their website it actually kind of shows hey what's listed right here and you can see if you need to do an update or an upgrade of your things and you can see ubuntu is running right now version two now if it is running you do need to do like a shutdown like this and this will shut down your actual wsl you can see the state is stopped and then you'd want to do a wsl dash dash update this will upgrade this to WSLG. So you're on version two, now you need to upgrade it to WSLG. You just do that, it'll check for the updates and then implement them directly here. The first time I did this, it took roughly, I wanna say five minutes or so. All right, and then that's done. I'm just gonna ignore that error because I did do the update prior to this. Now let's go ahead and launch. I like to use Windows Terminal as this is just a great project that has come a long ways. Uh, first thing I like to do is just a sudo apt update and upgrade. So there's the update and then sudo apt upgrade. And you can see just a couple little knickknack stuff to do. But then we can actually add graphic programs. We can do sudo apt install Caden Live, and we'll go ahead and add that. There's a bunch of dependencies because I didn't have Qt and any of that in here yet. 
Now, I will mention while I did this update, there was a massive update, but it took maybe a minute or two, and it's dang near native performance or maybe even a little faster. I don't know how, what kind of magic they did in the background, but WSL1 was just atrocious. They've done a great job with the actual speed of this. Now, we can launch. I got G-Edit here. I'm going to go ahead and launch that. You can see that performance. Notice the icon, and there's always this little tiny icon right down here. You can see the little penguin as well. And we'll go ahead and end that. Let's go Nautilus and check out the file browser. Again, you can see the little tiny penguin and the large penguin uh, just kind of shows what the file system is. It's kind of cool. This is obviously just the WSL file system, but I think if you want to use this as your browser, you can actually go into MNT, and then you can see your entire browser or basically your entire file system from here and let's go ahead and launch into Caden live and this is a great video editor i used it for about the first 500 videos i did on chris titus tech and you can see it works really well you got the icon but again you got that little tiny penguin just to say hey this is running in windows subsystem for linux and we can adjust this uh, if I had a video to pull in here, let me see if I can't grab something real fast. And let's see how it interacts with just File Explorer. It would be kind of cool if we could do a drag and drop. All right, so let's grab this MP4 file. Let's see if I can't drag and drop it. No, nah, it's not going to allow me. That would be cool, though. All right, so you can't really interact directly from this to that. I just wanted to test it. However, I think we can just do that from Nautilus doing this. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a new one. Let's go Nautilus. Got a quite a ways to go to get that file, but let's see if we can drag and drop that one. So you can't interact between the two GUI applications just yet, which, eh, it's not, not the end of the world. And we'll grab that right there, and we'll toss that on the timeline. And this is this Chris Titus Crypto. Crypt. Crypt. Woo, there it goes. There's Chris Titus Crypto. That's my intro for another YouTube channel. And I can see that I can edit everything in real time. And that's actually really good. I'm going to actually mute my audio real fast. And there we go. You can kind of see. I, I went ahead and muted it. So we, sh we shouldn't have any reverb or anything happening. And you can see I can scrub pretty well. You can see that acceleration if you do that in software, it's not going to be nearly that clear or that fast. So very, very impressive as far as everything they're doing. Being able to pull a 1080p clip like this and easily scrub through it with absolutely zero latency is probably the most you'd ever want to do inside of a WSL. So I'm going to go ahead and quit this and that and close out of these two things. And this is WSLG. And the graphic element, if you want to do this today, I would not recommend using the valuation build. There's a lot of things about the valuation build that I have problems with. And I I, I will say the last two builds, 28.1 H1 and this evaluation build I'm on now, it's gotten better. Usually I just roasted the last five or six prior to that from 1803 and on has been pretty terrible. But 21H1's decent. I would say it's getting close to being in a recommendation if you're going to need something for Windows 10, but not quite yet. The evaluation build is still very much in development. And I got to say, WSLG is the best feature from it. Hands down, amazing. If you are on a prior version, I would recommend you know 21H1. If you're going to go that route and you want to use WSL2, by all means, use WSL2. However, if you want to get the WSLG feel, you can use Xming and you can still do graphic ap applications that way. You'll just have an X server. One thing I want, forgot to mention, which I want to show you the diagram real fast, is right here is how WSLG works. And this is important because it can interface with both Wayland and X, uh, Xorg, which is amazing. The amount of work that went in in the actual technicals behind WSOG are amazing. And I can't emphasize that enough. So just make sure that when you're in here, you can test it out with Xming, which is good. But WSLG is still definitely an upgrade whenever that does get released. Probably going to be fall of 2021 that that happens. And to me, it's 
an amazing feature for developers out there. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video.